Welcome to this tutorial where we introduce and demonstrate the Ovid Search Builder tool. The aim of the Ovid Search Builder tool is to act as the first step in any comprehensive literature search. It will also allow users to build and launch sophisticated searches instantly within the Ovid platform. Ovid users will then be able to quickly create their own auto alerts for those searches. So the Ovid Search Builder allows users to build complex search strategies using their own keywords. Automatic mapping of those keywords to the controlled vocabulary terms is provided, as well as automatic retrieval of all the related synonyms. Users have the option to apply any of the reference specialized filters to their strategy. Currently, the Ovid Search Builder tool works with the two largest biomedical databases, Ovid Medline, and Embase, and both can be searched simultaneously if subscribed. Once launched, the Ovid interface will then provide additional filters and workflow tools if required. Users can access the Ovid Search Builder by clicking on the dedicated button from within their Ovid session. If you do not have the button integrated yet, simply ask Ovid support to add the button to your access. Remember, Ovid Search Builder currently supports both Embase and Ovid Medline subscriptions. Let's quickly highlight how to start your keyword search in the Ovid Search Builder tool. So the first step is to enter your keyword into the space provided. Decide whether to undertake a wide search for the keyword in the default MP fields of the database. Alternatively, choose to search in selected database fields. Click on the green button Map Keywords to select the appropriate controlled vocabulary term. Then click on the green button Synonyms to automatically retrieve all the related synonyms. If required, the Include PubChem option can provide additional synonyms from the world's largest open source chemical database. Again, should it be required, users can search for additional keywords. Click on the Add icon to repeat the keyword process for the next term. The Ovid Search Builder is particularly adept at building PICO clinical questions. Now we will quickly highlight the optional filters and steps available within the Search Builder tool. There are optional filters which can be applied directly to your keyword search. Some of these specialized filters include adverse drug reactions, special situations, clinical queries, and a filter for human-only studies. The filters are available as wide or focused options, and this allows users to customize their searches based on their particular search criteria and needs. Remember, after selecting a wide or focused profile, click on the information button to view its specific characteristics. Let's now look quickly at the Ovid search history and auto alerts procedure. Once the search has been launched, the Ovid search history will highlight both the keyword searches as well as any filters which have been applied in the process. Here we show two particular search examples. From the Actions column within Ovid, click on More at the point where you need to create an auto alert for your chosen search. You will then be notified automatically of any new records that are added to the database. Let's undertake a demo search using the Ovid Search Builder tool. In this example, we will search for literature surrounding the adverse effects of warfarin and dabigatran as treatments in elderly patients with atrial fibrillation. Here are our databases. Now we begin the procedure of entering our keywords.
select your fields or use the default MP field. Map your terms. Select your map terms. And proceed to select your synonyms. Here we can see all the database synonyms selected. At this point, we can additionally add new terms. Simply click on add a new line and type in the subsequent term, in this case, warfarin. And we continue with exactly the same steps as previously, selecting our fields, map our keywords and select our synonyms. After finishing to enter your keywords, we can now proceed and select from the special filters that are available. In this example, I'm going to select the adverse drug reactions filter, wide option. And if I click on the eye, I can see the particular strategy we're going to apply to our search. In this case, we have two databases, Medline and Embase. I'm going to continue under special situations. I'm going to select the wide filter for elderly. And if I scroll to the bottom, I can also apply the limit to remove any studies regarding animals. Now I can launch my search. Here we are. Notice how the Ovid Search Builder tool automatically opens a new tab in your browser. Here we can see the full search strategy with our terms and our applied filters. We can also apply additional database limits to filter our results further. In this example, I'm going to select the date range. And here we can see in set number six, the final number of results. Scroll down to view your results. If we wish to, we can adjust the current search strategy at any time. Simply go back to your Ovid Search Builder tab. And in this particular example, I'm going to, instead of wide, apply focused filters for adverse drug reactions, as well as elderly. Scroll to the bottom. Here we can see in a new tab in my browser, the new focused results. And here we can see the number. Again, if I wish to apply limits for time, I can do that date range again. And we can see the number of results and we can compare them to the previous wide or broad search. Once we have our finalized search strategy, remember, we can go to the actions column, click on more and create an auto alert for our chosen search. Just remember to enter your pin details. Here we have the auto alert interface where we create a search name and then go to the scheduling options, delivery options and so on. Many thanks for watching this short video. Next to the Search Builder tutorial, remember that users can also provide their own personalized feedback and suggestions for improvement. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact us.